Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the student management system using Laravel 10. We are discussing about student and teachers and course and enrollment and payment. These are the parts we are going to include our project. And finally we have released the after pay the payment of student, the payment release will be released. These are all things we have to cover about this project right after complete this project you will be able to do the laravel project simple right now first i am going to go to the drive which this is my drive g drive here i am going to create the project so i am going to create the project this is a student management okay. inside the project inside the folder i am going to create the project so you have to type the cmd command right cmd here First, I am going to go to the Laravel official website. Laravel. Sorry. Right. Laravel. You just type Laravel. This is the first link. You have to click on this. If you click on this one, link, it redirects to the Laravel official website. Click the documentation. Here they are here. You can see first you have to make sure whether you are you are, uh, you are selected the correct version or not. I'm going to create the project in Laravel uh, 10. Okay, if you want to create the lower version, you will be able to create here. Okay, you can find it here, right? I'm going to create the project in the latest version, so I'm going to uh, select the Laravel 10. Right now, here Laravel 10, here you have to go below. So how to install the project, right? So it will be given the instruction. Okay, so here composer create project. Okay, Laravel example. Okay, here we have to give the name of our project. These are the keywords you don't you know you don't change it. Okay, here only the project name you have to change. Click on here. Back to my project directory. Here type cmd. Here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, paste it here. I just name it here as student management, right? Management. Before you have to paste it, okay? Because this is the name we are we are going to create our project. So I just copy this command. Okay, here you have to. Give the name of the project name student management system. If it is a library management system, you have to give the library management system app. Okay, you have to give them the name. I just copy this one, paste it over here, press enter key on your keyboard. You have to wait until the Laravel project gets installed in your machine. Now you can see the uh, project installed successfully. Here, this is your project folder. If you are going inside here, this is all your files. Okay. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open on the VS Code Editor. If you are not downloaded VS Code Editor, first you must download the VS Code Editor. Go to the go to Google and type VS Code Editor download. This is a professional editor which used to write the PHP codes. So you have to select the corresponding operating system. Uh, if you if you go for along with the uh, windows version you just select the windows if you go along with the mac os you go click on this if you go along with the linux you can you, you can click, click click this right now i'm going to go to the windows so you have to click windows and you have to in install in the machine right i already installed now i'm going to open in the vs code editor so okay this is your project go inside here i'm going to you have to type here cmd Simply you type code space dot. Press enter key on your keyboard. Your entire project will be op uh, entire project will be open on the VS Code Editor successfully. You can see here, right? These are the folder structure. These are the file structure, right? You will be able to get the first folder will be app. After the bootstrap, configure, data, so all the things are must, right? Now what I'm going to do is first step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now run the app. So run the app. Here is a terminal. Click new terminal. 
here you will be able to run the app over here right so otherwise if you want to run the app here here, here we are here things of the lab right so here go inside the folders run management system folder you will be able to run the project here same thing right here also you can run here also you can run now here simply you can run the project here using php artisan serve you have to type the command serve now it automatically generates all the uh, your, you can see the, all the things, right? So you just copy it. Just copy it. I just, it's all things. I just close it. Right. Copy it back to here. Paste it over here. Press enter key on your keyboard. Here. This is a welcome page of Flarable 10. First, you must check it. Your welcome page is successfully coming or not. Okay. If it is not coming, you have to, uh, if there is a problem with while, uh, uh, while you're installing, there is a problem. Okay. It's a, if, if this comes successfully, congratulations. Okay, you have successfully set up the Laravel 10. Right. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to do the thing. Second thing is, so okay, first we have to go to the views folder. So views folder, the resources, views, you can see welcome.play.php. This is the welcome page you have to, you, yeah, you have seen. When the when you uh, when you run the Laravel application for the first time, this is the design of the page. So here is the extension welcome.play.php. Okay, you, do, you you don't type here welcome PHP. Okay, so you have to write along with the blade. This is a this is the extension of Laravel. Okay, right. now I'm going to go to then the view section. I'm going to instead of displaying this welcome.play.php, I'm going to design in my all, uh, all customized page which is a dashboard okay dashboard how to display design the dashboard select the views folder new folder you have type here layout dot blade dot php right okay now here we are i'm trying to make the design very simply we have to make the design right okay so very simply you have to make the design so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to my official website if you are not watch my uh, Laravel 10 thread applica application, you must go and watch them. Okay, so here, this is my official website of Laravel. Don't worry, it's here. It's a layout page, it's a simple design. I'll be explaining, right? The simple HTML design, you know, the simple uh, HTML design. So I just, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to here. First, in VS Code Editor, you type this map. If you hold on the shift key down and press one key, you can get it here. Press tab key on your keyboard here. This is the HTML5 version. It will be, the code will be generated in Laravel. Laravel, uh, the HTML will be displayed, the la layout page. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attach the bootstrap file in your project. So how to attach the bootstrap file? So I'm going to use what are what is the thing you have going to use you have to use whatever version if you want to go along with the boost of 5 version the all the things you have to do it to the boost of 5 version it's a 4 or 3 so i just do it as boost of 4 boost of 4 right so we have type boost of 4 implementation all things you are getting here go to the official website of Laravel, right so you can see this is a style where you can apply for the boost of 4 version css Right. If you go boost of five, you here. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I am getting here boost of four. Right. So here I just copy this one. Back it here. Paste it here. This is style I have applied for boost of four. Right. File save all. Now what I am going to do is inside the body tag. What I am going to do is here. I am going to make the. Uh, design of the page so how the page look like so we have made the design right before that we have to run run and check whether it's working fine or not so i just inside the body tag i'm going to type h1 tag start at h1 tag close it close tag right here i'm type hello now back to where the page is started where how the url call on laravel it all things are managed by the routes folder go inside the routes folder 
you will be see the uh, page which is a web.php page you go inside this web.php page here here it will be called routes get flash when the url is coming slash it will be it telling to redirect the return view return the view it will be calling the view which view welcome welcome mean it goes inside the views folder here what is written there a return view mean it's coming to the return views here view it's a welcome dot play but you are written here it will be displayed instead of that we are calling the layout layout let's check file save all and back to the browser and refresh it now you'll be able to see the output as hello congratulations here it's working fine right so far now i'm going to make the design first so how to make the design go here to google uh you have type bootstrap 4 i'm going to bootstrap 4 uh Mm, you have to write uh, nav one. Okay, booster four now here. It, it will be getting here. Nav four, right? Click on this and get the idea of that. Simple here. This is a nav one. Okay. Right? So there are styles there. Right? So I am going to pick, pick, pick it here. This one. So copy this one. Back to my project. Go to the views folder. The view is resided, resided inside the resources folder. So go to the resources folder. Click on this. You have to expand it. You, you, you can see the views folder. Inside the views folder, our layout.blade.php. Here we are, we are going to design the page. So click on this layout.blade.php. So here I'm going to get rid of this line. I'm going to, before paste it, first you have to start with the due tag, due class. You have to inside the container. You have to write the container. These are all the things I what is a container? How to uh, what is a container? That's all the things I have explained in my bootstrap video. Okay. If you are not if you are not if you have any confused with how to style this one, you have to go with my bootstrap uh, session. Okay, you will be have enough idea to cover these things. Right? Now can the this one, right? This is a container. Inside the container, I'm going to Create the rows class row. Right. This row I'm going to paste it the this code. What are the code copied? I paste it. File save all and refresh the page and check whether it's working fine or not. Here your all things are coming successfully. It's coming successfully now here uh, row what i'm going to do is uh, where's the row here uh here, here row what i'm going to do is here we have to create the uh due due class equal class call md you have to write 12 12 is the right okay this was the, the container which is the width will be 12 okay this is the maximum value is a 12 right this div is started here close it after the this div this name part so you have to place it here that's it now let's file and save all and back it and check it right here now it's coming like this perfect right now here what i'm going to do is here i'm going to make the arrangement so first time i'm going to i no need these links Instead of that, uh, instead of we have to apply the sidebar as well. Okay. So here first I'm going to do it, this one. For the editing purpose, you have to put it here. This one. I'm going to make it this one as I will be able to see. Uh, if, you, if you have to make the link, you can make the link over here. Otherwise, I'm going to here. We have to put the name over here. Right. Student. Manage month. For it okay other url we know need, need this url so okay the home link this all the things i we know need at the moment we have to show this all things i'm going to get rid of this all the links so this you are are not list started here close it here right file save all now let's refresh it 
okay script and management system so this one also we no need that so i also this one also i'm going to uh this form this form is started here close it here we no need to install all the things right we only we have a this thing only this new one right so here we have to arrange it right okay perfect right now file save all back it here okay right okay after that we will design the another all the things right what i need to do going to design below uh, if you want to make this simple we have to uh, the student management system here we have to do it here inside here you have to make the h2 tag i want to make little bit the font size you have to make little bit uh, bigger that use the h1 tags now it's a little bit bigger fine after that we have to create a sidebar section okay it's the attractive one for the sidebars so sidebar what you are going to do is i'm going to go here type booster implementation sidebar there is a, the many sidebars example you will be able to see click on here uh, you will be here there is a many sidebar section you will be able to see you have to use one of these okay you have to use this one of these sidebar okay we will be see the sidebar section you have to use one of these right uh, so uh, the sidebar all the configuration i'm going to explain in my next video tutorial keep on watching thank you for watching